Welcome to my channel, my name is Alexis, and in this video we're going to be talking about education. So education forms the backbone of a society. You can tell everything you need to tell from a people by how they've chosen to relate to information. In the modern age, there's a science and an art for just about everything. There are numerous fields, all with numerous authors and researchers backing up its claims. There are new fields emerging from those larger, more established fields all of the time. In the ideal society, we would want to see every person specialize in one particular aspect of the field that interests them the most, and build connections to all other fields extant in the world. This specialization would become their intellectual real estate, and social currency for communications and developments of all kinds worldwide. In the future, we will have access to all the information embedded in living networks through generalized artificial intelligence, which I've mentioned time and time and again, right? Um, that will grant us access to an infinite number of worlds, um, the realm of the eternal and the objective universe. To survive in that kind of reality, we'll need to be anchored to a particular function in that society. It should be enough to say that automated labor will take up the monotonous jobs and leave all the creative jobs to the people. And there is nothing more creative than articulating information in new and coherent ways with every interaction we have in the world. There is nothing more glorious than combining and recombining data through a singular, unique matter of which you are an expert. So the real question is, how do we get there? Our avenue is to make higher education accessible to all people. Obviously, making it free will incentivize many to pursue their education, but not everyone. Many will likely still be opposed uh, to pursuing higher education or even finishing their K-12 through for entirely understandable reasons. Reasons that deal with high levels of emotional insecurity or lack of motivation and lack of clarity in what they'd want to pursue. Many don't see the merit or value of an education, thinking that they've, what they've learned is enough to see them through life. People settle, more often in education and educational pursuits than anywhere else. The percentage of graduates with a BA in the United States is still at 38%. That's extremely low. So, Yes, we could do more to get students to love their pursuits and become clear about what those pursuits should be, especially if they're interested in progress, in a brilliant and successful future that we can all share in. The most significant solution, aside from making higher education free, is to revamp the curriculum and find a way for students to find their calling in a more deliberate and informed manner. Guidance counselors, when I was in high school, for example, didn't do anything to help me further attain clarity about what I wanted to pursue. I relied on my own decisions, which inevitably changed over time. Some new schools are attempting to teach students in a more liberal manner, having the students choose what they're interested in, learning uh, what they're interested in learning, and taking it from from there. Giving students this kind of this kind of autonomy makes learning more interesting. That's not to say that pedagogy doesn't have its time and place. However, giving students what they need to form a clear decision and the ideal field for them and the ideal specialization based on their own personal histories, society's needs, and their personal interests is fundamental, along with a means of finding out what those interests are. Lastly, the kind of information that is taught in a curriculum needs to be focused on providing students with a firm basis to live successful lives. It's not just about teaching them the ins and outs of basic computational skills, reading, civics, and science. No, they need to learn why they're here, why they matter, what they can bring to the table, and what they can look forward to. All this and how to manage their lives after graduating from high school, ensuring they'll be independent and self-sufficient. So yes, things like philosophy, theology, civil discourse need to be reintroduced into the subject matter, while financial management and life planning need to be added. So that's the, the, the fundamental things that I want. Those are the fundamental things that I wanted to say about education. If you have anything else to add to this discussion, please go ahead and add a comment in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.